Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 24th and the, and the 31st of March 2018. So, the celestial dome is warming up like we've been talking about for the past few weeks. And the heat is being felt this week. This is a week that could lead to some frustration and some... Uh, uh, it could agitate us all, it could pull our little buttons and strings. It's a bit of a week that we need to practice serenity, a bit like in, in Seinfeld, serenity now, you know, and recompose ourselves and, and restart our emotional functions every time we get flooded. All through this week, we are under the Mars-Saturn conjunction that's going to be exact next week this conjunction it feels a bit like pushing the gas pedal and the brakes at the same time many times it is uh, it, it, it brings a feeling that we want to we want to give birth to something that we are passionate about in this life and for some reason that 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 birth that delivery is not fully accepted into the world it's as if we are getting breaks we are getting challenged and there's a voice saying that this gift to the world or this this subject or this deed is not mature enough not ripe enough and still needs to be um, worked in to the reality as it is so this is not a time to get too frustrated or too anxious about these things, but really with a baby step uh, paced and a consistent pace, continue to do our work. Another thing that is happening through this week, we know that we're going through a turbulent time in relationships, that Venus is going all, Venus the goddess of love, relationships, satisfaction, and our own self-worth is going through a lot of turbulations during the last few weeks and um, it will get better at the end of this week but during this week we are really culminating to a time that brings a lot of change within relationships and the way we treat ourselves as well and respect ourselves as well we have venus squaring pluto on Sat on saturday the 24th we have venus conjunct aries on monday the 26th and we have venus conjunct uranus on Wednesday the 28th. This is a time that relationships can change from one point to the other, from black to white. People who were uh, celibate or, and didn't have a partner could meet someone new. People who had a partner can lose it or lose him or lose her and break up. And if we don't want that to happen, we really need to pay attention to our aggressiveness to how much we argue within the relationship, to how much we're flexible and willing to change and listen. This is a time for change. Look, if, we, if both partners, okay, if both partners are willing to do the work, this could be a profound time. This could be a time that we understand each other better. This is a, could be a time that we understand each other's predicaments and feelings much better, that we delve inside much deeper. And, and, and we transform as a result. That the relationship transforms, that we ourselves transform, that we bring that transmutation, that innovation, that upgrade to our present relationship. But if one of the partners or both are not willing to do the work, then this is a time that could signify a breakup. So Saturday the 24th, very sensitive day. Venus squaring Pluto, Moon in Cancer, in emotional Cancer, opposing Mars. And in the evening, we have the Sun square Mars as well. So first of all, Saturday, Sunday, as well as Friday, this is a time that is very apt for uh, accidents or malfunctions or, or um, getting hurt in some, in some way. So just be careful on the road, be careful at home, be careful from your own impulsivity. 
and, and, and just be more conservative than usual and more aware than usual. And you can be emotional, just don't be too dramatic, don't be caught up in the drama, try to uh, bring a little logic along and see the, the strategic aspects of things as well. Sunday the 25th we have the moon squaring Mercury just to add up to the m malfunctions and communications. This is a sensitive day regarding that. The sad Saturday the 24th and Monday the 26th are as well. Mercury is in retrograde and it's going to be squared by the moon. So things can come out the other way around. It could be misunderstood and uh, we can misunderstand. And it also at the night time the moon is opposing Pluto, so it could be so dramatic about things and total and too intense. And it's a great thing to focus on something and go forward. And that's what the conjunction to Pluto, the opposition to Pluto can bring. But uh, uh, don't be too total or too intense and leave some space for uh, or some room for thought from people from the outside and some flexibility to allow yourself to change what you think and how you do things. Monday the 26th we have the moon squaring Uranus in the morning, a morning that is uh, with a very short fuse and not a lot of patience. Uh, in the evening time, especially in the US, we have trying to Jupiter, wonderful evening uh, that can uh, actually bring a lot of fun. What do we have to be careful of? This is the day of the exact conjunction between Venus and Aries. So aggressiveness within relationships and both towards ourselves and just a, a, a need to argue, argue about everything and put the uncomfortable truth in front of somebody and expecting him or her to swallow that bitter pill without any sugar coating is a little bit too much. Eris's problem, you know, Eris is the goddess of mischief and, and arguments, but we see her today as a feminine goddess that knew how to put the uncomfortable truth in front of anybody, of everybody, but didn't know how to be diplomatic enough about it. So, Aries's downfall is that she doesn't know how to sugarcoat things so people can actually swallow them. So, be careful regarding what you say and how you say it. Tuesday, the 27th, we have, and, and already Tuesday, is, a, is a, 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 we can feel the energies getting higher and more positive. So we have the moon on the ascending node, on the north node. It's a very intuitive day. It's a day that all our female attributes are heightened. Uh, it could be an emotional day, but not necessarily a bad emotional day. We have the moon trying Mercury, so communications are easier. Forward movement is easier. Our minds are more composed and relaxed. Wednesday, the 28th, another build up in energy. The moon is on Regulus. It's a great day to do anything that is connected with your career or with love or with fame or with honor. Any big thing is good to do on Wednesday. Just do it with honor, with respect and with sincerity to everybody around you and to yourself. Uh, there's a promise with Royal Stars that if we don't act in a sincere way, the downfall will come. We have uh, the moon squaring Jupiter in the morning, so don't be too extravagant, don't think you're omnipotent, don't be too sure of yourself, be discreet, be tactful, be focused, be professional, be modest. And uh, evening time we have, uh, noon time onwards we have a trying to Venus Uranus and the exact conjunction between Venus and Uranus. Uh, so, as I said, it could be exciting with relationships, it could be uh, something, a, whole new, uh, a whole new approach towards ourselves with our self-respect, but don't be too impatient. Don't throw away the baby with the bathwater. Be respectful and honor what you already have in your life, the people that are present in your life. Don't be too quick to part ways and, and unappreciated of what you already hold in your life. Thursday the 29th, we have the moon trining Mars, a very energetic day, a day that we can complete a lot of tasks that we didn't complete through the week 
another energetic buildup. It's also trying Saturn, so there's a strategic aspect there. We can actually plant seeds that are going to be good in the long run. Again, since Mars and Saturn are conjunct, there could be um, instances in which we want to fully, uh, uh, fully finish something or fully give birth to something, and it's not happening. Don't be too frustrated about it. Just continue your work. In the evening, we have the Sun square Saturn and the Moon opposing Neptune. So it's a lot. It's a low key evening. It's an evening that we should be aware not to be too judgmental regarding ourselves or others, not to be hard asses, and um, and just remember that we're sensitive and people are sensitive around us. We could uh, act from within that sensitivity. And, and, and maybe create more harm to ourselves or others or hurt somebody. So just be gentle on Thursday evening. Thursday evening is a great time to do something spiritual or something artistic or go outside to nature or just enjoy yourself. Go to the movies, see a movie at home, do nothing whatsoever. It's a pleasant time to just bum out and enjoy yourself. Um, Friday the 30th we have the moon trining Pluto it's an energetic day a day before the full moon uh, the trine to Pluto adds energy it's a time that we are uh, asked to look inside for strength inside for our own power and understand how powerful we really are it's a time that we can understand the intricacy of our emotions better and dive inside and, and get some new understandings and epiphanies about ourselves and about our families, about the people closest to us. And Saturday the, 20, the 31st, we have Venus entering Taurus. Venus feels very nice in Taurus and our satisfaction and our ability to, to enjoy life is heightened for the next few weeks. Our sensuality is heightened as well. Fun, fun, fun. And then we have the full moon in 10 degrees of Libra. This is a blue moon, the second full moon in one month. This year is very unique in that sense. We had two full moons in January, two full moons in March, and no full moon in February. That full moon is going to square that Mars Saturn and oppose Mercury. So regarding our relationships, regarding the way we uh, interact with other people in our lives, we have to uh, watch out from our frustration. We could feel that there's a, a big malfunction in communications right now, that we are not being understood, that people are not in touch with our needs and with our wants, and that things are a little stuck. Breathe in, breathe out. You know, my martial art teacher, Yossi Sharif, um, I went through a, a, a workshop, a wonderful workshop of the detente system that he developed for emotional regulation last week and at times like this you know he gave us a very um, very simple and good exercise when you see things swell up when you feel yourself about to burst here's a very soft reset a very uh, easy soft reset that we can do and just calm ourselves you remember demolition man the movie with Sylvester Stallone about uh, um, uh, uh, written about a book by Philip K Dick so there was a blessing that people gave each other there that is exactly right for this week. Enhance your calm, John Spartan. Enhance your calm. So people, serenity now. Enhance your calm through this week. And here's the soft reset uh, uh, or a similar soft reset that I've learned last week. So one, two. Three, four, five. And then you answer, and then you continue your day from a much more composed place within you. We are starting an English group for beginners next week Wednesday if you want to join let me know 
and of course for private consultations or readings and, and uh, private lessons you're, willing, you're welcome to contact me as well I want to thank you for sharing these videos for commenting about them for liking them they expose these videos to more people and that's it I'm wishing you a wonderful week a profound week and a week that when you look back at it you'll say wow it was intense but I did good Namaste, thank you, and goodbye.